My name is Mia Bertinoli, and I am a professor of biology here at Gonzaga University. I'm currently also the chair of the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry, and I'm an interim associate dean in the College of Arts and Sciences. It is specifically designed to try and promote the um, advancement of women in STEM disciplines. And so our focus is on both the uh, retention of women in STEM disciplines, but also looking at mid-career when it seems like many women do fine in their early career and then they get to mid-career and maybe they're promoted to the level of associate professor, but for many different reasons, they can't get to full professor or they are not able to uh, become the kinds of leaders or take on the leadership roles that they really think that they want to do. I participated with Dr. Sarah Kirk from Willamette University in a workshop that we developed that was, it took place here on the Gonzaga campus as part of our Murdoch Undergraduate Research Conference that we were hosting that year. And so we created a survey and we surveyed all of the people who participated in the workshop to try and figure out what are the things that they think have been problematic in their careers and where do they see the need for support. And what we learned is that the junior faculty members were fairly well supported, that they had access to funding oftentimes, um, they had the acknowledgement that mentoring was really important when you're an early career faculty member, but it was really at the mid-career level, and specifically for women and minority faculty members at the mid-career level, where the support didn't seem to be nearly as extensive. So we have two different groups of people that will be participating in the grant. We have the faculty participants, and we just created a call for faculty participants, so people are right now uh, registering and rolling to, uh, they're applying for this particular opportunity. But then we also have a call for applicants from administrators. And what our goal is, is to get some allies that are part of this process, that are part of our teams, who can also appreciate the challenges that these people are facing, but who are the policy makers, the decision makers, um, people who can partner with us in changing policies or at least even in examining policies to see if there's something about those that is uh, making it harder for these people to get promoted or to advance in their careers and then to do something about it and to try and create systemic change across departments and across universities to sustain whatever kinds of activities that we're able to to use and improve upon the condition that we can broaden that out and make institutional changes.